So let me introduce you to someone. This is Duck Norris. He was having a busy morning in the wetland, so he was running a little late. He's currently 85 meters from school and can walk at an average speed of 0.5 meters per second. How long will it take Duck Norris to get to school? Oh, I forgot to tell you. He only has three minutes to make it to science class before the bell goes. Will he make it? It's always best to start with what we know. In this example, we know that the distance to the school is 85 meters and the speed is 0 0.5 meters per second and ultimately time is what we're looking for. Okay, The formula for time from the speed distance time triangle is time equals distance divided by speed and now I'm going to go ahead and substitute my values. Distance equals 85 meters and I'm going to use a factor label method for this next step. We're dividing by 0 0.5 meters per second. The next step is to see if the units cancel. We're dividing 85 meters by 0 0.5 meters per second. My meters will cancel. We're going to be left with time equals 85 seconds over 0 0.5. As the meters have canceled, we can rewrite this and do that calculation to have 100 70 seconds. Okay, so put a box around your answer. Now we have to figure out if Duck Norris will make it in time. We know the timer said that he had three minutes to make it to class in time. We need to figure out how many seconds that is. We do that by multiplying by the conversion ratio of 60 seconds is equal to one minute. We can simplify this to say three times 60 seconds as our minutes will cancel. And what we're going to be left with is 180 total seconds to get to class. We knew that Duck Norris has that amount of time to make it, but it only took 170 seconds. That means he's going to arrive to class with 10 seconds to spare, which is good news. And we need to answer our question, will Duck Norris make it in time? The final answer is, of course, yes.